Linda Israel here and I'm going to make a greeting card today using some Brutus Monroe products as well as an image from Calico Collage. The scent of the day is Black Cherry from JIC. If you're interested in the scents that I have here, go to the link in my description box. The ring I'm wearing from JIC is this little pink one. It's really pretty. I've got the stamp set here. It's got my hero, beautiful, magnificent, and some hearts. I'm going to use some of that. I've got the copper penny embossing powder and Brutus Monroe detail ink. I've got these gentlemen from Calico Collage on her Etsy. I'll have that in the description link. The first thing I want to do is I've got this piece of craft card stock that I've cut, cut to fit my A2 standard greeting card and I'm going to open up my detail ink from Brutus Monroe. I have the little heart stamp on my acrylic block and I want to stamp this on the background and I just want to do it lightly so I don't really care that it's not completely visible because this is a background so I'm just kind of filling in and then my next step is I've got a Tim Holtz stencil and I have some texture paste and this is just cheap texture paste that I picked up at the hardware store it was 32 ounces it was less than ten dollars I think it was like somewhere under seven dollars even and I'm going to test it out on a greeting card today because one of my viewers on YouTube asked what would it do on a greeting card I've been using on some of my mixed media stuff but not necessarily on a greeting card so I'm just going to do a few swipes here and there on my card just to give some texture and interest. Do one more down here. Like so. And then I will use my heat tool to dry this and I'll be right back. The texture paste is dry and I have the Brutus Monroe Liquid Elements Copper Penny and I have a Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Cork. I'm going to spray this a little bit to help cover up the white. So I'll give it a couple of mists of the Copper Penny. And then we'll go in with the cork. And then I have a tattered leather. Let's do some of that as well. I'll let it. All right, and I'm going to dry that with my heat tool and I'll be back. And while I've got this in my box, I've got some It's Black Tattered Angels, and I'm going to make a mess and splatter it over. You have to be careful not to drop it. That's what happens. I'm going to cut out my image from the Calico digital image. So I'm just going to use my paper cutter. I know I want this to have a mat, so I have a scrap of black cardstock. So I'm going to make a little mat with the black cardstock. I want another mat, so I've got another piece of, of this craft. So I'm going to make one more mat. 
and around the corners of my photo and my mats. I have brushed corduroy. I'm going to do some distressing on my photo. Got a blending tool from Tim Holtz. I'm going to take my black detail ink and go around the edge of the photo. I just think that helps bring it out. I'm going to do the same with the brown matte. I have a couple of Cricut die cuts. These are from the Floor, Gypsy Wanderings. This is called Flourish. It's the M44EF6. And I'm going to use the brush corduroy. And I'm just going to use a direct to color this just a little bit using the brushed corduroy. I'm going to place this in my spray box. Now I think I want to use the tattered leather to give just a couple of spritz. I'm going to go ahead and glue these together so that they'll be layered up. I'm just using white glue, a tacky glue by Aleens. I'm going to round the corners of my background piece. And I'm going to go around the edge with the black Brutus Monroe ink. I think I want to give it just a kiss over the top. I'm going to blend on the edge of my card. This is a white A2 card so that it's not so stark. Now I'm going to adhere my background. A little trick I learned a long time ago if your paper's curled just a little bit, if you'll take it and roll it over the edge of your desk like this with your hand it'll flatten it out. See how flat I got it all of a sudden? Just kind of gently. I even do it on this acrylic block and that'll flatten it out. And then I can use my white glue close to the edge. And then I'll lay an acrylic block on it while I'm working on the rest of my card. And it'll be flat. I think I put this on upside down. Some of the hearts are upside down. Yep, I got it. Okay. And I like using white glue because it's kind of forgiving. Some of those other glues you use and once it's stuck, it's stuck and you can't move it. Alright, so that's doing that. The layers are coming together. We're getting there. Alright, we need a sentiment that goes on the card. I have a piece of cardstock here. I've mounted the My Hero and I've got the Brutus Monroe embossing ink. And I have the Copper Penny embossing powder. So I'm going to emboss this on this piece of paper. So when he'd emboss this. Trim this down. I've got the little leaf from the same set here. I'm going to use that on here. 
and emboss it as well. I've got a scrap of black cardstock, so I'm going to cut this to fit as a mat. And then I will round the corners of this one. I'm going to use the distressed ink around the edge. And then I'll use the black detail ink on the edge as well. Glue these two pieces together. I'm going to adhere the photo to the card. Just using white glue. I'm going to go ahead and round the corners of the card. I think that'll make it match a little better. I'm going to use a little bit of white glue to adhere down the little corner pieces that I cut out with my Cricut. I've got some foam dot adhesive. I'm going to cut a strip or two to put on my hero piece so that I can adhere that down. And there is my hero card. So I used a lot of different things on here. I have the Calico Cottage image here. We use the Brutus Monroe stamps as well as embossing powder and inks. I used a Tim Holtz stencil in the background. We used the Tattered Angels Glibber's Mist as well as the Brutus Monroe Copper Elements. That's where we're getting this really cool effect here. Kind of reminds me of old metal, if you will. And I like the way that this texture looks in the background using my cheap texture paste fast and final it's made for spackling and wall you know this is just something that i'm using so you know don't just uh take my word for it you may want to look at it read the instructions and read the uh, information on it but i'm liking it for a cheap product. It may not be archival safe for scrapbooking, but I think it's great for making a greeting card. I like the way that the Cricut cut file, that little detail there that I put on here. This is a different card. It's kind of manly and masculine, so you can definitely tell someone that they're your hero. I hope you enjoyed all the little tips that I gave you and showing you how to make this particular card today. If you like any of these products, definitely check out the links in my description box. It'll take you to the blog post on where all of these items can be found. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate your comments. I hope that you learned something today and you had fun watching. Thanks for watching, everyone. Aspire to be amazing. Bye.